What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to do a 5-0 to tail stall. But first, I have to relearn it myself because it's been a little while since I've done one. Every winter, I seem to lose a lot of tricks and then every spring I have to like relearn all of those tricks. So to do this trick, you're going to come up with enough speed to get onto the coping and maybe lock your heel side back wheel into the coping, but not too much speed that you miss the coping because then you're taking the chance that you can fall backwards into the ramp. That's the scary thing about doing front side. That's why I do most all of my grinds back side because I'm facing in the ramp. Front side, you also have to lock in with your heel side wheel, which is harder and you take the chance of missing it and falling into the ramp. So if you can kind of lean your weight into the ramp a little more, it might be better. So with the weight of this board, I'm having a hard time getting all the way around into the tail stall in one motion. So I wanted to really quick, like just slash and then throw it down into a tail stall, which is kind of the way I learned tail slides and tail stalls in the first place on smaller ramps. So if you're comfortable locking into this trick, you can put your weight on your heel and lock in with that heel side wheel for a while before you shift and put it into tail. But if you're first learning this trick, you wanna just kinda hit it, pivot really quick, keep turning your shoulders and let it fall. All your weight's gonna be on your back foot and you're gonna go in. So as you come up the ramp, you're turning your shoulders, the board's turning with your shoulders, all your weight's on your back foot to hold that 5-0 and you just continue to do the same thing. You just keep your weight on your back foot, keep turning your shoulders and it's gonna fall right into a tail stall. Then you just drop in like normal. So the reason I'm working on this trick is because I've been skating this really big, heavy 10.1 inch board and it's made it kind of hard for me to do anything front side, just like front side 180s on the ramp into disasters or tail stalls have been much harder lately. So I feel like this would be a little easier to get into a tail stall front side without having to ollie the whole way around. So that's how you do a 5-0 to tail stall. I've been working on a lot of how-to videos and reviews, so I've got a lot of videos coming in the future. I've been trying to get a video out every single day this month. So if you're interested in seeing my progression as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.